Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars in this 2011 Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. Quite the supercar. Silver. Upgraded red interior. Chrome wheels. This is a showstopper, folks, especially this interior. Welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas. You can reach us at uh, www.celebritycars.com. We're located halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, right off of Route 15 and Dean Martin. Here six days a week, no Sundays. And we like to play with cars. And today we get to play with this really shiny silver bullet. There are not many imperfections on this automobile at all, except for no normal road wear. We'll go over all that in just a couple of minutes. But right now we're gonna do a couple minute walk around. No rush. You can see the lines. All the lines match up really nice. If you'd like to learn about the description, how many miles are on it, where it's lived, Give us a call, 702-818-1031. We'd be happy to go over all those details with you if you have any extra questions. But right now, what we're doing is a, a living, breathing condition report, if you will. We like to do these this, today because uh, uh, lots of people don't like to get on an airplane just yet. Uh, they don't want to get off the couch. No reason for you to fly across the country if you don't have to. And so what I try to do is get down into detail about the condition of the car so you know what you're buying in case you don't want to fly out here and check things out. Once again, description stuff you can find written up at celebritycars.com. We have an imperfection section we're going to go over after we climb in the interior and we do the overall look of the car. So you can see where the imperfections are on the car. I've spent a lot of time going around the car. We're going to, have to put some stickers on the car after we're done filming this, so we can pinpoint all these locations. It's just normal road wear, folks. It's a beautiful car. In case you're new to an SLS, you see how everything's all flush right now. This is how you get in the car. But how do you grab a hold of it? You gotta unlock the car. Come on in. I'm gonna open the other side while you climb in there. So this is an upgraded interior, ladies and gentlemen, obviously. It's beautiful red, red stitching, black inserts, lots of time spent. Lots of carbon fiber in red. The overall condition of the interior is beautiful. The only little things that we have in here, uh, some little discoloring on the suede uh, from opening and closing the door, and over here from getting in and out of the car, it's handful of times this uh, uh, black seam right here has shown a little discolored and just a, a little bit of wear of climbing in and out. There are no rips or scratches in this interior. Once again, you want to know the exact details of the interior and what all was done. You can check out the description at celebritycars.com. But I don't have a whole lot of work to do here today as far as the interior is concerned. There's not a whole lot of room in there for me. All I know is, is that it's absolutely gorgeous. Silver and red, always been one of the most popular colors. So I hope you appreciate the work that was done. Okay, uh, I used the remote to open up the trunk. 
successful, it still works. Here's the inside of your trunk. And while we're at it, let's check out the engine compartment. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thanks for checking into Celebrity Cars. If you'd like to take this 2011 Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG home with you, give us a call, 702-818-1031. Uh, answer all your questions. A couple salespeople inside, happy to talk to you and uh, answer any of your, your, your final questions. But this is an incredible ride. It's low mileage, no issues, and uh, you'd be happy to own it. Welcome to the imperfection section of this 2011 Mercedes. We don't want to spend a whole lot of time scouring the whole paint job. Uh, we wanted to, I wanted to show you first, you know, how beautiful the car is. And now this is a little section where we go over all the, the, uh, the, the, the bummers of the car, which aren't many and they're really small. So let's get to it. In the front of the car, we'd always have normal road wear, right? Uh, the car is not brand new. It's got a couple miles on it and uh, we normally find lots of road wear on the front of the car. There are some road wear. Uh, super itty bitty small little marks. Uh, I'm gonna get the camera a little bit of time to focus. These are super itty bitty small ones that don't really need to even be brought up. Uh, this is not a brand new car. This is just completely normal road wear. Some of it I didn't even see until we got into the shade. So I was in the light for one and now in the shade for the other. But most importantly up front here are down here, uh, <clears throat> this lower uh, bumper guard, this plastic down here, fiberglass, whichever it is, has uh, scraped up against a curb uh, once or twice. This is not broken. I'm running my hand across the bottom of it. It's smooth, but just really small light abrasions in this lower black part down here below the silver. Now. As we get up to the silver right here in the middle, this unfortunately uh, uh, hit something as well. Somebody got some touch-up paint, did a very uh, good job at it. Uh, not a professional job, but enough to clean it up. We're down here all the way, we're, camera lens is, look at this, you, you, are, you are a whopping uh, 12 inches from the front bumper here. This is really uh, tastefully done, covers it up well. This paint down here is a little rough. It's not super smooth all on the bottom here. Uh, but other than that, working our way up, it's all uh, nice and smooth up here. But just normal road wear. That's it. That's what these little stickers are here for. So I remembered to share them with you. Other than that, I mean, just really super, super small stuff. Um, just normal, normal, really normal wear and tear on this Mercedes. Okay. Um, I put one in here too. Um, there's a little uh, a dimple here, super small. Uh, can barely see it. But once again, remember the objective here. Maybe you don't want to get on a plane and you just want to uh, see what's going on in this car. Maybe just have it deliver to your driveway. And uh, I just want to make sure you understand the condition. That's all we're doing this for. Uh, I put little stickers on the headlights on both of them. I'm going to take them off now. Uh, if we could get a little focus in. This is just normal wear, folks. They're not perfectly smooth. They're not perfect or brand new. Um, they have a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of wear. What you see is what I'm seeing. It's very difficult to see, but once again, I have a job here to make you comfortable with your purchase in case you don't want to come see it. Same thing with this light. Just a couple little marks on it. Um, you know, a, a, a fancy detailer might be able to get every single one of those out. There are no chunks or big scrapes or anything. Okay, while we're over here on the passenger side, let's just continue to cruise down the passenger side. Um, this wheel and tire are in great shape. Um, there are no blemishes down the side of this car. I would have already put stickers in here and uh, 
so we can acknowledge any of it. There's no dings along here either. It's beautiful silver paint, folks. This wheel and tire looks pretty awesome too. I don't see any big damage on it. I don't see any, uh, there's a little dirt there. No, wheel and tire, terrific. Let's move on to the back of the car. I don't have anything to speak of back here, folks. It's beautiful, look at it. It's awesome. There are no chips, so here, I'll, I'll go over it again just in case we're all clear. If you've watched any of the other videos, I spend a lot of time back here, but I've already done that, and that's why these little stickers. So we're trying to speed up our video process here. Hope you can appreciate it. Okay, once again, I, I'm looking at it. Once again, just beautiful silver paint back here, folks. Maybe a couple really light things, but nothing that you need to look up close. A detailer would be able to uh, rectify any of these things. Okay, over here to the driver's side, uh, we have the uh, rear wheel and tire. I, I seems um, maybe some small uh, chrome pitting. Uh, you're seeing again what I'm seeing, folks. It's really minor. Um, I, I don't think this can immediately be wiped off. Uh, a detailer might be able to get that off, but it's, it's super minor. They're still very chrome wheels. It'll probably be clean just a hair bit more, uh, but there's no curb rash. That's the, the big issue here. Other than that, polish and wax will hook up most things. Okay, we're working our way down the driver's side door. Once again, I see nothing. Oh, this is just some glue. Hope you can appreciate the, the uh, attention we're paying here. Down here, these lower kick panels, right along the bottom, really minor road wear. No big chunks, no big gashes, uh, nothing, uh, nothing to worry about. Some gook along here needs to be cleaned up. There's some water marks right there that will easily be cleaned up that I missed. Sorry about that. And your front driver's side wheel and tire. Uh, we do have some curb rash on this wheel, okay, folks? A uh, little bit right up here. A lot of it's wiping off in my finger, but there is some left over, as well as right there in that section as well. So, just so you know. Uh, also, I just noticed in here in the wheel well, it's a little extra uh, um, uh, gook going on here. I'm not really sure. It's just some road wear there. We've got to get that cleaned up. But that's a big nothing. I can feel it. It'll come off. Uh, but yeah, the wheel's in great shape. Uh, up here on this fender, I put a little sticker right here, a little itty bitty road blemish dish right there. So I think uh, your detailer might be able to get that out with a fancy wheel. You're going to have to pay the guy though. That one's going to, you know, take an extra second. And uh, uh, very small right here in this location. Once again, there is really, really small, obvious, it's been driven road wear on this Mercedes. But other than that, we've uh, gone over, I, I looked at the top. Uh, I don't have any, we didn't discuss the hood. We'll do that. Uh, and up here, no nicks or scratches, just some dirt. That concludes our uh, imperfection section, okay? Uh, we're gonna go for a ride, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this 2011 AMG SLS Mercedes. I promised we'd go for a quick ride. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're a little warmed up. The car's already been cruising around a little bit today. So uh, I'm gonna put my foot on the brake. I'm gonna reach down here and hit this button. Now the air conditioner is blowing nice and cold. I just had it on a minute ago. Uh, still hot out here in Las Vegas. End of September and uh, uh, it's hot. So got the air conditioner on. I'll turn it down in a couple of minutes so we can hear what's going on. I know right now you probably hear a lot of air conditioning, sorry. Okay, so uh, here we are. I'm gonna engage, drive. We're gonna go for a quick ride. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner down now. You can already tell it's a little loud. And we're just gonna cruise real slow here, first of all. I, I just engaged drive. Got two hands on the wheel. We're gonna get moving. Put my seatbelt on. Okay. My foot's on the brake. I'm going to turn the turn signal on to the left just to make sure we're working. Sounds good. It's working. 
we're going to do a little cruise first. My foot's on the gas pedal. You see we're cruising along here. I'm approaching 20 miles an hour. I'm going to stay there for a moment. The car has shifted itself into fourth gear. If you can see the steering wheel, there's no shaking going on. We just shifted into fifth gear for 24 miles an hour. My mileage on this car, uh, I'll have to look that up in a minute. It does not display that at the moment. I'm going to hit the brakes for the first time at 25 miles an hour. Couldn't stop any nicer. No shaking in the steering. No wobbling on my brake pedal. Uh, very nice and smooth. Uh, the sun coming in here and hitting the carbon fiber is amazing. Everything in here is super nice and clean. Let's continue on. I'm going to use my right turn signal now. Back on the gas. My foot's back on the brake. Very nice, very mechanical sounding in here. Uh, you can hear all the operations of the suspension and brakes and uh, transmission. You can hear everything very smooth and sound and, and working very nicely. I'm back on the gas pedal, right turn signal. We're going to pick up speed here a little bit. I'm at 60 miles an hour. Here's a bumpy road. There's no road noise in here. Uh, I'm sorry, there's road noise, uh, but there is no hard, uh, hard brake left turn signal. There's road no noise because, uh, you know, they put great big tires on this thing. Uh, but other than that, there's no clinks or rattles in here. Not even a little bit. Super nice and smooth. And a real pleasure to drive. We're back to 26 miles an hour. road 35 miles an hour there's virtually no road noise in here very very quiet my foot's back on the brake here the transmission downshift all the way in the first gear very smooth very comfy sounding got my left turn signal on. I'm going to do a U-turn here in the middle of this intersection. Head back the way we came. Oh, our turning radius is dreamy. Whoa, that's awesome. Incredible turning radius. My foot's back on the gas. Yeah, we're all currently on a low mile per hour road. Pretty sure the correct word for this car is luxurious. Surrounded by this red carbon fiber and leather and suede, holding onto this steering wheel and fearing the power of the acceleration is, uh, to say the least, amazing. My right turn signal's on. We're gonna head back to the showroom now. My foot's on the gas. accelerate a little harder here so you can hear the exhaust sound. Forgive the road noise, please. That's all we needed. Right there. Great sound. Mercedes muscle car. Left turn. We're heading back to the shop. We're going to pull up to the front door. Couldn't get any smoother, folks. Better operations. It's a beautiful, unreal car. OK, 
Okay, while we're here real quick, I put the car back in park. Let's turn on the uh, sound system here. Make sure we have a radio. We do. We've already gone over the air conditioning. I'm pretty sure the heat works just fine. We stayed in comfort mode the whole time. We did not play with any of the extra buttons. That will be your job once it's in your driveway. There you have it. Thanks for checking in once again at Celebrity Cars. Located at uh, 7770 Dean Martin Drive here in Las Vegas, halfway between Henderson and Summerlin. And uh, we hope to see you soon. I hope you like the car. You'd be very proud to own this one.